Welcome to this rather impromptu reading vlog. I've already filmed two videos today and I wasn't intending to do a reading vlog. But um, I started Girl, Woman, Other today, finally. And I'm not too far in at all, I'm only on like page 17. Um, but I thought it'd be fun to document a little bit of reading experience. So I'm not sure how long this vlog is going to last, how many days I'm going to carry it over. I'm not sure if I'm going to finish the whole book in the vlog. Because um, I really didn't intend to film this, but... I'm enjoying it so far. So Girl, Woman, Other is following um, 12 stories, I believe, and I think they eventually link up together. Let me read you this little bit. It sounds like it um, gets to the point better than I could. It says, Welcome to Britain and 12 very different people, mostly women, mostly black, who call it home, teeming with life and crackling with energy. Girl, Woman, Other follows them across the miles and down the years with vivid originality, irrepressible wit and slow wisdom. Everisto presents a gloriously new kind of history for this old country, ever dynamic, ever expanding and utterly irresistible. And yes, yeah, so each story or each, I don't know what it's broken into, each chapter um, follows three different characters and I'm on chapter one at the minute and we're following Emma, Yaz and Dominique and it seems like their story um, Oh, this makes sense actually because I heard that there's like a production at the end or something. Um, but these are the story of this like uh, these people that enjoy theatre but they can't seem to get any recognition. Um, being black, it's difficult to get into productions where, for example, like they one of them tried to get into. Um, a casting for a Victorian show that was being put on and apparently there was no black people in Britain at that time so she stormed off and said you're wrong and ignorant and left the casting and so yeah this is just about like uh, theatre and that but it's so much more like you learn about their um, family, their parents, um, where they're from, how that affects their growing up and um, their sexuality as well, um, who they feel they can tell and can't tell and just growing up it's just really interesting and I'm only like literally 17 pages in I feel like I've learned so much already about these uh, particular characters in this chapter um, so yeah I thought I'd just document a little bit of reading here and there and yeah hopefully I like it I mean if it carries on how these first couple of pages are carrying on then that's a good thing um, and we're sure we know if that's the case so last night I finished A Brief History of Seven Killings by Marlon James. I ended up filming a review for that. Um, I'm not sure if this video is going to go up before or after that but I'll link it in the cards for you either way if you're interested. And that was really great so I needed a bit of like a detox for the evening um, and not read anything. So it's kind of late in the day today um, where I decided I finally like I've moved on from those characters now and I'm ready for my next story um, and that is Girl Woman Other. So, yeah, I'm just going to carry on with my day. I really have nothing planned now. Um, so, that's it really. Hi. <laughs> so, my boyfriend recently acquired this little bookshelf situation. But, it wasn't the one he really wanted. So, I'm going to have that in the bedroom now. And we've just built this one, which I'll show you. Just need to move you around a minute. Oh, sorry, I was... This one is the one that he was mainly looking for, these like cubby holes that sort of match up with my main bookshelves better. Um, so yeah, he basically wants me to take all that out and arrange it nicely in some nice way anyway. So I'm going to try and do that and then I'll put the other one in the bedroom where I want it but I think I'll save doing that up until another day, maybe on the weekend or something. So here we go. It upsets me that nothing on this shelf is in the right order. Like the two guardians of the galaxies and like 
not in the right order and there's something in between them and then his Dragon Ball Super are like completely disjointed <laughs> I will sort this out kind of annoying but it cut off at some point and I don't know why but this is kind of the situation I've got going on I am still messing around not everything's gonna fit on here I think and some things are gonna be double stacked so I guess he can change what he doesn't like what I want to put on my new bookshelf that's now in the bedroom um, I was contemplating at first about putting all my DVDs and stuff in there but that doesn't make sense because I've got a DVD thing in the living room like under the TV and then I thought what about like the books that are in my um, what do you call it pantry or not pantry linen cupboard um, and then I thought mm, maybe not and then I thought what about all the books that are TBR but are housed on my main bookshelves in the living room and then I just thought I don't know and then I thought what about like some of my favourite books or particular genres of um, books that I kind of want separate perhaps from my main shelves so I'm thinking I'm leaning towards either that one or again putting as much unread books in there as possible from my main shelves and maybe some from the um, uh, cupboard depending on how much I mean, that's how I'm flattering the angle was uh, depending on how much can fit in there but I don't know I, th I think I'm kind of liking the favorite one but the only thing about having my favorite books on there is because it's got the cupboard doors they're not going to be as visual as um, they would be on my main shelves because they're all open so I'm thinking it might just be another TBR shelf for now um, yeah just to see what I've got and what I've not got and really separate it and kind of get through them hopefully so because I've already had like a couple of montages doing bookshelfy stuff and even in my last vlog as well I think I'm just going to show you how that looks when I'm done and what I've decided to do okay so this is how it's looking like it's just next to my desk so I've got a bit of space because I'm not like cramming it cramming it these books at the top here, they just couldn't fit. They're certain like hardbacks or whatever, or just tall copies um, of paperbacks that the doors won't close when they're in there. But I decided to go with putting some of my TBR into this bookshelf. So for now, it's another TBR shelf, like that one over there. That's got the most like excited books. And then I've got some TBR books still left on my main bookshelf let me quickly show you the tbr books on my main bookshelf just at the top here now um i had to move these ones as well because I, they couldn't also fit 
and I didn't want the shelf to be too heavy having all those hardbacks on top. Um, but these are the ones I'm kind of, they're even new books that recently been purchased. Um, I've still got some just scattered on my desk and that and on the floor. But anyway, um, books that I'm hoping to get to relatively soon out of all of my TBR. And then back to the bedroom. So yeah, they're in some sort of order in a way. So this is just loosely kind of like priority, like what I'm most excited about. Or well, not even necessarily what I'm most excited about, it's just things that I'm more eager to get to because I'm excited about the um, Throne of Glass series and that, but I've still got like, for example, a book to read before this or a couple of books to read before this. Um, some of them I've decided, like, some of these are series and stuff and I probably won't start them until I finish off some of the series I'm currently reading, but... I try to put series in a particular order and I don't know it's just a bit of higgledy piggledy and these are the bottom of the books that I like I'm not super super excited to get to and like I've got the spook series by Joseph Delaney over there but they're two books that I won on Goodreads like years ago and I've read the books so far that I'm on I think I'm on the fifth book or something and I do really like them but it's kind of like a really slow series that I'm like as in I'm slowly reading through so that's like books 11 and 13 and I don't know when I'm gonna get the others to kind of continue so that's why they're on the bottom um, and then <laughs> what is my cat doing and then yeah that's kind of it really um, I think now I'm actually going to go and dust and sort out the DVD slash CD stack that the TV's like hovering above. So we'll see how that comes. But yeah, that's how this is looking. I'll probably add and change things as time goes on. Of course. This is just how it looks before. It's a bit higgledy piggledy. And I'm pretty sure I have even more DVDs in this box or games. So, so we shall see in just a second and I'll come back to you once it's all done. So this is how this part looks. Behind there I have like old nostalgic DVDs that I don't really want to get rid of like um, and same with CDs really but then it sort of fades into genre which I don't really listen to my CDs anymore but I definitely don't want to get rid of them. Um, and then bring it to the front we've got some box sets that you can't see because I'm out of focus. Um, box sets of mine. Um, a few like action movies like uh, superhero stuff as well and these are like my favorite films i'm not going to dwell on too long because i keep meaning to do a video about that and then all of my well my favorite films excluding the ones that are like um, animated japanese international films uh, and specifically studio ghibli because i wanted all of those in a nice sort of row that are not necessarily in number order and i'd still love to finish the completion of the studio ghibli ones um and then yeah i guess you'll just have to check out my videos in the future for whatever i add here because i know i've got some stuff in those boxes that i um can't bother to go through i'm not sure if i want my actual games on display or not just yet but yes that's it for this bit I think for tonight now I've got literally a couple of pages left of one of my current reads which is Mrs Death, Mrs Death by Selena Godden if I remember the name correctly. Um, this is a book that I'm reading on NetGalley at the minute and as I say I've only got like a few pages left or percentage left, I think I'm on like 98% out of 100 obviously and I am loving it. I think it's probably going to be like either a very high like 4 stars like a 4.5 or a 5 stars because I think it's so unique and interesting and weird and it's basically, let me pop you down a minute, death is described as being the most unnoticed, disrespective kind of person you can be and so she is personified as an old black woman um, and it is so good, it's literally just like telling her story to um, this human who is able to kind of tap into her and is willing to know her story and how did death begin and he's had a lot of um, close run-ins and experiences with death himself so he's currently grieving and it's just so weird and wacky and wonderful and yeah I'm definitely loving it so I'm just going to finish that off and I think I might um, I might pick up a graphic novel soon uh, or a comic or something I recently did, did a big haul but I have yet to actually like edit and upload it as I'm filming this. I've not done that yet. Um, but yeah, I might pick up one of those from that, that book haul. Um, for the rest of the evening, I think it's probably going to be 
a little bit of this a little bit of that and definitely a lot of rupaul's drag race because i've just got back into that again and i'm falling in love with it all over again i'm on season three if you're interested i have when i started watching them i did begin watching them in like order season order and i know people just jump in and watch whatever especially because the more recent seasons are the most like popular with all the cool memes and stuff um and all the cool phrases but i wanted to see how it began and i knew if i jumped in with the new episodes now um i wouldn't probably go back or i wouldn't appreciate and enjoy the old episodes as much because it's just like for me when i'm reading um a series by an author and knowing that they've got older ones i prefer to start with the older ones generally um because then you can see how the writing progresses and stuff so with this you can see how the show's progressed and yeah anyway that was really <laughs> really rambly um that's it for tonight or for the minute anyway <laughs> I just wanna be happy We've just spent a couple of hours in this local park which is really nice and I've read a lot more. What are you doing? Anyway, I read a lot more which I'm happy about and I'm more fully invested in the story now. But as I say, I'm probably going to flit in and pick up another book to read, especially because I've just finished that other one, Mrs. Death, Mrs. Death, which was amazing by the way. And I don't know what to pick up next. What should I pick up next? Hmm. Let's see. I've got my immediate TBR shelf. I say immediate, it's not anymore, but I've got this TBR shelf which is actually on my TBR and like my seasonal TBR and just my yearly TBR in general. I think most of these are part of that. And I'm thinking of picking up something from here, but I also really want to read a middle grade too. So I'm not entirely sure. I'm not sure. It's been 84 years since I've last been on Animal Crossing New Horizons. I joke, obviously, it's been about two months. But, um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to get re-situated on it and just have a good couple of hours just playing on it. I was watching Kick the PJ's um, little 5am village tour, or island tour, rather. And I'm just about to watch this video where it says, like, goodbye or something. There's a lot of people on YouTube that are just, like, quitting YouTube now. And, yeah, I'm really sad. And there's a lot of people that, to be honest, I haven't watched for years. And I kind of forgot about. But then the videos are popping up. And I'm like, oh, nostalgia. And I'll start watching everything that I can for them. And then I get sad because they're not on there anymore. But, yeah, um, I'm probably just going to watch some more, like, tours and stuff and get some inspiration. Because I never make the best <laughs> island or village or whatever. And I really would like to try, so yeah, I'm just going to play on this for a few hours, I think. Morning guys, so today I'm going to be hanging out with my friend. Um, I need to get to town. Um, I really need to get to the bank. I was supposed to do it last week, but I'm doing it this week. And then we're just going to mooch about and see what there is to see. Um, last night, I randomly started another book. So yeah, this is, I guess, a current reads vlog rather than a particular reading vlog for a specific book but that book was Scythe by Neil Shusterman so this is a book that I've had borrowed from my cousin since Christmas <laughs> we, like she gave me a couple of books and I finished the other ones this is the last one to get to I'm only like literally chapter three yeah page 39 and what happened was I was just looking at it I was editing my computer my computer i was editing a video and my internet kept cutting out so i kept just staring blank at the computer because i needed to download pictures to put in the video anyway that's neither here nor there i was just staring at it and i was like hmm let me look at this so i picked it up and i started reading like the acknowledgements or the dedications at the front and then i just carried on reading and um i started looking at these bits at the front which is like a little journal um, entry and I was like hmm I'm liking this let's see where it goes and so far I'm really enjoying it 
It is apparently a true successor to The Hunger Games, Maggie Stavart says, and I like The Raven Boys, but I've only read that one book. I haven't continued the series, but I've read her Shiver series. Um, so yeah, I mean, I like her as an author, so I appreciate her words, but I never read Hunger Games, so that kind of just goes over my head. But this is, if you don't know what it's about, I think it's a completed series now, I'm pretty sure. Is it a trilogy? Mm, I might be wrong. Um, it's about this world, it's our Earth, where we're now in the future and basically death has been conquered there's no natural death anymore so there are these people who are called scythes and it is their job to kind of go to people and kill them to kind of balance out the population and things like that and it's very taboo it's very feared um they have the greatest respect because apparently it's one of the most respectful jobs to have but it's also very heavy and there's a lot of animosity about it because you're basically killing people and it, there's no repercussions there's nothing that's gonna like they're not gonna go to prison for it because that's what they have to do um so there's a lot of mixed feelings tied in there um and i believe it's following two perspectives so we're seeing this main scythe guy and I, I'm guessing you're gonna they're gonna meet together because these two characters whose point of view we're following are chosen to be apprentice scythes. Not yet though, but that's what the synopsis says. So I assume it's gonna be through this particular scythe guy that they've so far both met individually. You know? You know, hindsight, whatever. Foreshadowing is probably the better word. Um, and yeah, so far I'm really enjoying this. I'm very intrigued as to how it goes. It feels both like medieval in the sense that it feels very mythological it feels very mythological based um and like old-fashioned in what they're doing like the scythe dressing up grim reaper that sort of age old age old um concept but we're following it in this very futuristic not futuristic in the term that it's heavily sci-fi it's quite believable so far um so i guess it's not a not too distant future if you want to look at it that way but it's like Clearly things have evolved in a way that feels sci-fi based. So it's really interesting seeing the blend of those two, past and future, and it's blended quite seamlessly so far, so I really hope it carries on that way. Um, yeah, I'm sure I'll update you guys on my current reads. This is not what I was going to pick up at all, like, this is just a random one that I just looked at, but it's on my TBR for the year, so I did need to get to it, and I feel bad holding on to it for so long, because my cousin probably wants it back on her shelves. Um, but yeah, so I'm looking forward to continuing on with this, and so far I'm enjoying it, but as I say, only 39 pages in. Hey guys, so I'm looking a little bit crazy with my fro just unruly at the minute. Um, but I thought I'd come in with another book update chat. Um, yesterday I had a horrible migraine. Some of you guys know that I suffer with them. And they've been getting quite frequent of late. Um, so I was on an early shift and I felt fine. Absolutely fine going into work. And then I got into work and about half an hour in this dog looked at me and he just barked. And it was just a bark that went straight through my very core. And that was the moment that I knew. <laughs> my mind was going to explode so I had a migraine all day and I, I felt like I spent a lot of the time in the toilet just trying not to pass out or vomit and just in the dark with minimal sounds and yeah it was a horrible I don't know how <laughs> I don't know how I managed to stay at work and get stuff done um but I'm very proud of myself but as soon as I got in I was like rolling over I was like gagging just trying to sleep I finished at four and I got in about half four or so and I pretty much was asleep or trying to sleep from then onwards um, so yeah I would say now my pain is pretty much gone I feel like every now and then you know sometimes you move in a certain way and it, you can feel like the ghost like spasm in behind um, so I'm sort of gently <laughs> existing today so yeah, I've just been resting up today and that, it just, it zonks me out, man. Like, I get so exhausted, like, after a migraine, even during a migraine, obviously, but it just fills me with such fatigue. So it's just been like a recovering day, trying to get the last remnants of the actual pain and nausea away and then just resting my body because it just takes it out of me. Um, so I've been managed to read, which was nice. I've gone between both um scythe 
and not that I have the cover on but girl woman other and let's talk about Scythe first because that's the less I'm not in as much I've not made as much progress in this than I have with the other book there we are that made more sense so I'm currently on chapter five um and yeah I'm enjoying it so far we got to the point where the two main characters have met and they're beginning this apprenticeship um to I can't remember the scythe's name honorary faraday I think something like that um and it's very interesting so I'll be intrigued to learn about kind of like the the teachings of becoming a scythe like it, it seems quite cool in the fact that it chooses people that don't want to be a scythe because they're going to have the more moral higher ground in a way and they're going to be less like trigger happy when it comes to the gleaning um so i like that concept of morality uh, versus mortality i guess you could say um and yeah I, I will probably do a little bit more i think this will be like a slower progress book just because i feel like i'm learning like a lot in this this sort of sci-fi dystopian-esque world um and i think it's taken a time to kind of learn the the ways in which this world works and i want to take my time to understand what's going on because i think this could be quite a good book for me and then with um girl woman other i'm on chapter three now which doesn't sound a lot when you look at it like this but it's like broken into five chapters with different parts within it if that makes sense so if i just quickly flow you around this is what i mean so you have these big chapters these chunky chapters and within it you have a different person so like a different part and i'm currently in chapter three i'm reading about shirley at the moment and i'm really enjoying i think i might have already said this but i am really enjoying seeing how people connect especially when you hear a name and then it's sort of a like a, a throwaway comment and then you come back and you're like oh I do remember hearing this name and that's how they connected and it's like ah or sometimes you hold on to a piece of information thinking ah that might be useful for later and then you you have this satisfaction and seeing it come full circle um but yeah I do have my favorites I would say from the first chapter my favorites is probably Yaz oh whoa I got really close there sorry it's probably Yaz um and Emma, I guess. I don't know, they were all quite good in there. Dominique too. I did like, in Chapter 2, Carol and Bummy's relationship. Is it Bummy or Bummy? I might be pronouncing that wrong. That was cool. Um, what else, what else, what else? I mean, Chapter 3, I've only read from Shirley's perspective, and I'm still currently in that, in that part. But yeah, it's really cool just getting a slice of life of these people. Um, seeing how life turned out for them. Um, how they some of them made it how some of them made it work for them when they had like not the nicest circumstances uh, to begin with and yeah it's just it's kind of inspiring as well actually but um that's my update for now i'm in and out reading i'm in and out watching some um reading rush vlogs so that's always fun i've never taken part in a reading rush actually maybe i should one day um and i've just had some lunch slash dinner possibly so yeah, it's just been a really chill day. This morning when I was like, I had enough of sleep or my body still needed to rest, I was playing on some Animal Crossing and then I went online and met my, my cousin on there, which was fun. Um, but yeah, it's just a really relaxing, try to get better, rest up day. <laughs> so then hopefully I can enjoy some of my weekend if I'm feeling more with it and then go in to the week strong. So yeah, that's what I'm planning and that's what's been happening. Um, my boyfriend's currently with some of his friends at D&D &D, um, and they'll be gone for a couple more hours still so sometimes it's nice to just chill on your own like I had intended to sort of put on a movie but I don't even know if I'll do that now I think I'm just happy reading and watching YouTube every now and then so yes there is that so I went to town today and on a weekend it wasn't as bad as I was expecting every shop that i went into which honestly wasn't many at all the system in terms of lining up and that was very fast and efficient and not too daunting particularly in primark which is like the worst 
for any of that sort of stuff. It was actually not too bad. Um, what else? What else? I've just finished reading, or should I say listening to, uh, my first proper audiobook, and that was The Girl with the Loud New Voice by Abby Dar. Um, I think it's pronounced Dar. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so you might have seen my recent video where I talked about why I don't read audiobooks, and so I thought it, this would be like the perfect debut of breaking that kind of mental block I had and all the questions and silliness that was in my mind. Um, someone on Instagram had recently posted that the BBC, I think it's BBC Radio 4, but online it's like BBC Sounds or something, had um, the audio available um, and it was great. So yeah, it's in 10 parts, each part's like 15 minutes. I kind of sort of want to do a separate review for it, but I might leave it for a bit because I almost feel like what I want to say in my wrap up might be a good enough review, I'm not too sure. So it's set in Nigeria I believe, about a young girl who she's promised that she'll be able to go through education um, and find her loud new voice which is basically she'll become a person of value and she can make change in the world. Um, and then uh, sadly her father kind of goes back on that promise and sells her to a local like sort of richer man. Um, to be his third wife she's only 14 years old and it's about her kind of escaping that and trying to strive for the best of her that she can um, and try to get that education and you see her go from like bad home to bad home and it's just like oh god and I kind of didn't know how it was going to finish because we got to the 10th episode and I was like how are they going to wrap this up but they did it quite well I'm just left wondering what happened next i would have liked to have seen more of her actually in education but i feel like i've spoken a bit too much about it i, I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars i really did enjoy it and it was on my radar anyway so when i'd seen so when i seen um, one of my friends um share that it was available to listen to for free um i was like yeah let me listen to that i did it in one sitting absolutely enjoyed it it was such a good story very um emotional um i felt for her so much you know but yeah, I've basically just given you guys my full review, which is annoying, I should have saved that. But I realise this is now turning into kind of just like a July general reading vlog, so I hope you don't mind the randomness of it. I haven't done like a, well, even though this isn't technically a full month because I started like the third week of July I think, but I haven't done like a technically full week, a uh, full month rather. Uh, reading vlog for a while it's so long to edit so let's hope this isn't a, this isn't too bad but yeah um i really very much enjoyed that book definitely check it out if you guys haven't already um and yeah so for the rest of the night to be fair i've been playing a lot of animal crossing and going online and visiting people's islands and vice versa and stuff and getting ideas for my island i finally now just um that reminds me i've just got to take it off of charge but i finally just been able to set up some inclines and move or set the process for moving a villager's house elsewhere on my island because I, I don't really have a proper idea but I, a bit more of an idea than when I first started and I was just putting everything anywhere um so that's been fun I've been on there for hours so yeah and then when I put that on charge I then started reading the girl with the loud new voice which I'd finished as I said now I think for the rest of the evening we're having a late dinner we usually have late dinners to be fair these days um and I think I'm going to have a katsu curry stir fry thing and we might be watching some more of Snowpiercer on Netflix if the internet's not playing up because it's been giving me grief this week on and off, on and off all the time and it's funny because it's only when I actually go to need it like when I'm doing some editing or something and I need access to the internet or whatever then it goes off luckily it held up this time round when I was online on Animal Crossing because yesterday I was having issues with it um, but yes, so we might watch Snowpiercer with some dinner and that's it for tonight. I don't know if I'm going to pick up any physical um, books and I don't know how to put the reading progress for The Girl with the Loudman Voice in because it didn't have a percent or nothing. I think for just this time I might just put down, as in for my reading progress and how many pages I've read daily, I think I might just do the actual page count which sounds really weird because I wouldn't be able to read that much in a day but I finished it so I guess technically I could if I just sat there and read for that long um so I think yeah I'm just gonna put the page count down as my reading progress for the day 
and that's that that was a really rambly dry monotone kind of conversation not even a conversation literally just like was it a monologue a monotone monologue that's great anyway i'll catch you um, when i have something else to say hi guys so i kind of forgot about this video in the end um so i'm just going to come back quickly just to wrap up everything and to end it here um i know i didn't get around to finishing anything else in this what's my cat eating um i thought i maybe could finish um girl woman other which is behind me and to be fair i could finish it but then it will just drag this vlog out and i kind of just want to end it now but i am currently on do 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 girl woman other i'm on page 341 um chapter four i think it is so i've nearly done um i'm still i think i'm at the same point that i was in my last checkup with scythe um enjoying both of these very very much um this one i've just read from megan slash morgan's perspective and that was great i really enjoyed that um scythe i'm still enjoying i haven't picked it up in a good few days though. i don't think i really read it much over the weekend from what i can remember uh but yeah that's really still enjoyable i did forget to mention that i had a different book that i was reading at work called shine on and i can't remember the author's name but it's one of my net galley ebooks and it is about this guy who had like a near-death experience and kind of how that awoke some sort of talent in him which is really interesting we've not got to the actual talent bit yet we're just kind of in the point where he's just had this near-death experience and it flits back and forth a little bit but it's very very interesting i'm really enjoying it um but yeah that is it i'm sure if i finish any more of these books before the end of the month because i've still got a couple of days left um you guys can see my final thoughts in the wrap up for july so thank you so much for spending time with me and just following me around i know it's been a bit of a random one with a weird kind of vibe because i don't really know what i was doing i was just randomly filming bits when i felt like it um which i guess that is a vlog isn't it really but anyway i shall speak to you in another video soon bye